Hello and welcome Exiles. Today I'd like to talk about Blood Notch and how it's actually been bugged basically the entire league since it's been introduced, which was this league. It's been a long league, so it feels like it's been multiple leagues, but it was just this league. Blood Notch specifically is bugged when it comes to critical damage. If you get critical, if an enemy uses it, hits you with a crit, Blood Notch does not actually proc, and I can prove it. Now, the reason this isn't super noticeable, or you maybe not didn't even realize Blood Notch felt like it was an insane power of item, is because Monsters don't crit that much. Monsters have like a 5% crit chance, so it was like a 1 in 20 for the item to not work, which probably meant if you had enough leech or enough other sustain, whatever, it would fill in the gap and it wouldn't feel bad. But if you were a bit unlucky and an enemy crit you, you would have a chunk of damage of your HP pool down, and then if an enemy hits you again, maybe a damaging hit that would normally only do 60% of your HP pool and never kill you. Well, since the crit happened first, and then he just needed to hit you once with a sizable hit, maybe you could, maybe they could combo you like that. So there could be scenarios where Blood Knot should work, but wasn't working, and you've died a lot because it's been bugged just because of this. So crit damage hits you, and it does not proc. I can showcase this really quick here. I'll showcase quick. If you're looking at this character, you'll see the HP bar doesn't move. The way it works is 60% of the damage is hit to you. Uh, basically, goes to your life pool. I'm using Petrified Blood, so it splits 60-40. 60% goes to my life pool instantly. Blood Notch counters that 100%. Uh, exactly one to one and that base damage that is a hit damage doesn't ever occur so that's why my hp bar never moves because it's always instantly recovered but on top of that the damage that goes and splits off into damage over time is completely equally counterbalanced with recoup it's it's basically the way you go about uh min ma min maxing or setting up a blood notch plus immutable setup where you if you don't get one shot you don't die sort of thing you're still going to die to things like dots or just really big one shots but everything in between can't kill you now i will showcase real quick here if i were to take out blood notch you will notice my hp bar actually starts to get hit down right it starts to get hit down it starts to take those chunks out of my hp bar and it's pretty clear right you can you can see it pretty clearly right you can see those chunks that's what it looks like when blood notch is not proccing when blood notch is not giving you that instant recovery now hp bar not moving i have blood notch equipped on my character i take off one thing here oh shoot hopefully chimera doesn't die let me run away from him for a little bit so es gets back on him i roll the map with gain life as es so that way in case my rf which is not a damaging skill it's literally just for damage multiplier i forgot i had it on uh hopefully it doesn't actually kill them same with like my tempest shield which tempest shield is probably doing more damage than rf but anyways hopefully he has his es back now that i did that and he's not gonna die okay yeah anyways as i was saying you will see right now if i unequip this thing it says hits against you cannot be crit and i specifically rolled a zone with crit on it you will see that when I unspec this node, I will begin to start taking damage. It won't just be an HP par just hard locked right here. It will specifically start to be chunked. Can you see it? Can you see the HP start to get chunked? That is every single time I get crit, that is damage that is not being recovered from Blood Knot instantaneously. It's not matching that. Um, I'm still getting Blood Knot. It still procs on all the hits that are not crits. So roughly i want to say with 400 percent crit chance these guys have like what 25 crit 30 crit whatever it is 70 percent of their hits i'm still getting blood notch recovery rate and i have a bunch of regen in this build i do have like 50 percent damage recoup so i'm still going to sustain these guys they don't deal enough damage to kill me this is a very tanky character but it's showcasing the fact blood notch is not procking and you can visually see the chunks occur which if blood notch was working correctly you would not see you'll see if i go back here i go ahead and i click uh, hits can't be crit against me i click that and now we're back to our hp part never moving always perfectly sustained um so hopefully this showcased very well the issue or the bug with blood notch essentially it just comes down to one simple thing if the damage is a critical hit the blood notch will not occur in terms of recovering your life that is the bug as far as i can tell i've done a, quite a bit of testing i'm trying out different things i was trying to figure out what it was and uh basically after all the testing that's what i determined it to be is if they crit on me another fun side note of this is i'd been kind of sleeping on these masteries so to speak oh not necessarily sleeping on it this, this isn't a really a big thing but it is kind of a big thing if if you care about it one this mastery is basically shotgun crit immunity it, it protects you against shotgun it's not going to protect you against the occasional one hit shot that hits you for a crit in high rolls or whatever but the funny thing about this is in pvp this one mastery disables an entire build type 
cast on crit. You could, you could PvP any of your cast on crit buddies. If you have this mastery and you have some low stun threshold, they will crit you once or they will hit you and they will stun you and they can't crit you and then they, they can't cast on crit. It's hilarious to basically disable their build. I just, it's just a funny thing that I noticed. Um, anyways, besides that, that's the bug with Blood Notch. It does not recover when you crit. And now I'll just go ahead and try to uh, clean up this arena real quick here with a few flame blasts. This character, um, although I'm mostly happy with it, how it turned out, uh, I was a bit delusionally confident about how much, uh, what is it, how much HP I would get on this character. Funny story, I, I mean, I will make a build video separate about this character. I specifically thought to myself, yo, my RF uh, Scion Ascendant has 20,000 life. That build is literally just a strength stacker trying to stack uh, life. I definitely can beat 20k life. That's what I was thinking in my head. Little did I know, strength stacking is just really efficient. Now, granted, that character's gear is maxed out of the moon, but I just thought to myself, I have a glove slot. I don't have to use Saber's Touch. I have the ability to have a chest with a bunch of HP on it. I could probably beat 20k life. Here I am at 13k life, level 99, and I'm basically just coming back with the conclusion of, man... If I optimize this more for a strength stack angle, I probably would have got more HP because strength stack angle is just that efficient for stacking life. Anyways, that was my takeaway. I thought it was pretty funny. And it's and that's 20k life, no dissolution. Obviously, with dissolution, you can scale it higher, stuff like that. But still, um, funny to think about nonetheless. Anyways, that is the issue with Blood Notch that I found. Captain Bug <laughs> Captain Bug Tester 9 out. Hopefully you guys have a good uh, have a good rest of your days. Take care, exiles. Peace out.